as well. Welcome back to Paper Mario. What the fuck am I doing? I'm supposed to go here, I think, yeah. How's it going, Ian? Yeah, I saw you got your DS2 run. Congratulations, man. That game is so full of fucking memes. I just, I can't bring myself to play that one. The clunkiness and the way it plays and, like, randomly getting bopped off edges and shit like that. I can't do it. I just, I don't care for it. I don't have the patience for that game. Yeah, so we're hopefully gonna get chapter 6 done today. This shouldn't be too long of a chapter. Should be about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. 80% of deaths was gravity? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was just talking about. It's... You get hit by an enemy one time, and then you're locked into an animation, and you get hit like five more times, and then you just get poise broken and staggered off a ledge or something. But... Yeah, game's a little bit silly. That or I got fucked with Red Invaders. Why didn't you do the run offline, Ian? Or are you playing Scholar? You're probably playing Scholar, aren't you? Where you get, like, invaded by Forlorn and shit. Right, let's pop in on that Professor fellow. Oh, yeah. yeah, I guess. Guess we have to. Not that I like this guy very much, but I will. Great news, my friends! The next Crystal Star is in Poshley Heights! Wait a tick, I've heard tell that only the rich and famous people call that place home. Yes, yes, and I'm fairly sure there's also a shrine to the stars called Poshley Sanctum. No fearsome monsters or dangerous dungeons, either. It's just a tourist attraction. Yeah, somehow I fucking doubt that! <laughs> Sounds positively scintillating, dear boy. Point us there. That's the best part! You ride the most famous train of all, the Excess Express. Yes, after a luxurious steam engine excursion, the next Crystal Star will be yours. Getting those Crystal Stars has been backbreaking work, but this time it'll be a cinch. How do you know what my work is? How do you know it's backbreaking? You haven't done shit, you old fuck. Pardon me for saying so, but mustn't you have wealth or fame to ride that train? You talking shit, Bobbity? Hmm, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pianta for help with this, too. Oh, no, terribly sorry. Mm-mm, impossible, can't do it. The man's reprehensible. Bolt rat. I suppose there's nothing for it, eh, old boy? If we must, we must. Let's go. Excellent, then we're set. We may not have much time left, so you must hurry. Yeah, you must hurry, as in you go. And put yourself in mortal danger, I'll stay here. I'll gather all the information I can. You guys just handle your end of things. Yo, what the fuck? What, what exactly qualifies as your end of things? Staying here in uh, complete safety? In your house? Thanks, dick. You did play Scholar offline, but damn, Scythe Boy Forlorn is a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, Forlorn can be very meme -y. He hurts like fuck. Oh, what impeccable timing. Yes, this was destined. When I consolated my SAR charts, I saw a portent sign for you, Mario. It went thusly, in the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair. Near the empty black chest that cursed you lies a clue to help your allies learn. That last part didn't uh, sound very me. I feel like you just made this shit up. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately. But I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. If you figure out this mystery, come and tell me immediately. Well... I did go and do a bunch of shit off screen, so I already figured out the riddle, seeing as how I've played this before. Stupid old fuck. What's this? An up arrow. An up arrow? Up. Of course! Holy shit! Did he just, like, spray sparticles from his asshole and fly up into the ceiling? Ooh, shiny. This is the Ultra Stone, so that is what the star sign meant. I picked this up at a flea market years ago and forgot it was in the attic. With this, I can power up your partners even more. Oh, cool. Uh, so, seeing as how you have a brand new one, maybe you could uh, give me the old one? That way, if I happen to get the new partner, I can uh, power them up conveniently? Well, you're not magic, so... Uh, uh, Alright, you know what? Forget it. Forget I asked. 
No, you know what? Fuck you. Why the hell is every magic person named Merlin anyway? Make us magic bullshit wizard. Fuck off. We're cooking now. Let me know when you want me to power your, your allies more. How about right the fuck now before I hold my gun to your fucking head? How about that? How did he first see my arrival when I was already there? He said he foresaw my arrival before. Now, if he would have said he foresaw me leaving, that would have been fine. But that's stupid anyway, because I would have done that eventually anyway, so magicians are full of shit. We're gonna power up Vivian. Look at all the shine sprites I have. Yeah, Vivian deserves it. Yeah, get it in like four hours, not a bad time to finish in any percent. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Especially if you're going about it very carefully so you don't get memed or fucked over or something like that. That's not bad at all. I think on my deathless run, the best one I ever had, I got to the undead crypt and then some stupid retarded shit happened. And I got killed because I was stuck up a bunch of- like against a bunch of graves or something. And I got really annoyed and I just stopped. I was like, it's Dark Souls 2, why do I give a shit? It's like playing Sekiro multiple times. Nobody wants to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna power up, let's see, Vivian. Does vanilla, does vanilla DS2 offline not have red invaders? I don't believe so. I think that was something that was added with Scholar. To make it harder in the beginning. I didn't even find DS2 difficult, it was just clunky and strange and weird. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have uh, Red Invaders offline. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, Macho Man Randy Savage, he, he deserves an upgrade. Just for being Macho Man Randy Savage. Don't ask any questions, Ian. I know you must have several. Like, why is my Yoshi named Macho Man Randy Savage? Uh... I don't really need to power up the rest of them, honestly, so I think I'm just gonna leave it. Quit wasting time. Right, so we have to go talk to the Mafia boss again, of course. I don't know if you knew this, but Mario actually has history with the Rogue Port Mafia. Quite a dangerous individual. Better not cross him. He's Italian and he's part of, like, two Mafias. Mario has some shady shit going on in his life. He's got some behind-the-scenes skeletons in the closet, metaphorically. And literally, because, you know, he's part of the Mafia, right? Oh, cut the corona, eh? Mm. Francesca. Oh, poor boss. The big man's been sick with loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Oh, underboss Frankie is gone. The boss is in shambles. What's a syndicate to do? That scruffy gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs from us right and left. Hey, but enough about us and our stupid problems, huh? What can we do for you? What? Tickets for the ritziest train around for the Excess Express? Whoa, you want tickets for that rolling wind dig? Ooh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, giving us giving out tickets? That's rich. You gotta talk to the boss for that. Francesca. I just can't stand seeing the boss like this. If we just knew what those newlyweds was, we could take the boss to see him. You mean those Pientas, Frankie and Francesca? They were on Kyohoki. Who's on the what now? What'd you just say? Repeat that. You know where the young Miss Pianta's at? Really? No lie? I swear to you, if you're lying, I'll turn you into confetti, so help me. Well, if that's where she is, why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal. We go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, you bring us young Miss Francesca, and we'll do what we can to get your train tickets. We got a deal or what? See, now that's better. Well, it's, it's not like you could exactly refuse the mob, right? You say no, you're fucking dead. 
I knew once you understood our predicament you couldn't refuse. Don't screw this up. What console is this on? Uh, this is emulated from uh, GameCube, Ian. Yes, I'm emulating this Twitch. I've bought this game 20 times. You can suck my balls. I don't give a shit. This game's like a hundred bucks now, so if you want to front me the fucking difference, that's cool, but... I better not hear nothing from you, Twitch, alright? I don't want to know. This is a good game, though. It's definitely worth the money. Fucking fantastic game. Yeah, it's on Dolphin Emulator, Ian. I do want to figure out how to emulate PS2, because I want to play through all the Silent Hills. That's something funny, so let me tell you guys what I did. I went on to see the PSN, like the PS Now. All they have is Silent Hill 2 and 3. All they have is Silent Hill 2 and 3. I'm not paying fucking 10, 20 bucks a month just for Silent Hill 2 and 3. You can suck my balls. We're Silent Hill Downpour. We're Silent Hill Homecoming. We're Silent Hill 1. You know, we're Silent Hill Origins. I want to play all the Silent Hills, but I can't. What am I doing, by the way? I went to the wrong area. So yeah, I also looked on the Xbox Marketplace, and you can only buy them on the um, Xbox 360 Marketplace, even though they're backwards compatible. And they're available digitally. For the most part. Also, I want to play Silent Hill 4 The Room, because I've never played it before. So if I can figure out PS2 emulation, we can play all the Silent Hill games. And that'll be sick as fuck, but... I'm not paying 20 bucks for PS Now to only get like 2 out of the 7 or 8 available Silent Hill games. You can suck my cock. Not gonna happen. Was actually looking at some GameCube games, fuck they're pricey? Yeah. His GameCube is considered a classic now. And I got to thinking the other day of what we consider to be arcade games, like the new normal for that, is games that came out when I was a kid. Like, Resident Evil 4 would be considered a classic nowadays. Rightly so, but... Got my GameCube and PS2 working with Elgato, but not worth buying the physical game to play them? I mean, yeah, the actual physical games are expensive as shit. And I used to own, like, the majority of the Silent Hills. I just sold them because I sold my Xbox 360 because I wasn't going to play it anymore because the new generation of console came out. So I figured what the fuck was the point of hanging on to it. Oh yeah, I, I remember when I said fuck all you guys. I uh, I didn't mean it. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Fuck all of you. Oh hi there Mario. What brings you back here? Can we do something for you? Well, uh, yeah, you are, uh, dead, and his associates are going to kill me if I don't bring you back, so. What? The boss is sick! Oh, poor daddy! Oh no, and at a time like this? You see, I... I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring, otherwise something may eat it. Must be somewhere between here and that skull rock. Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. Shouldn't we forget about that ring for now and check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was the symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore. Is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. None of your sweet talk now. You're gonna have to say you love me 100 times. 100 times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, come on now, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. Now, please, let's go. No! You have to say it 99 more times, Frankie. Oh, fine, you crazy dame. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love- Oh, for the love of Christ, you can't be serious. I love you. 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 You know, if you were to pull out your iPhone and record you saying it and played it aloud numerous times, this would go twice as quickly. I love you. 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 Ah. 
I love you. I love you. I love you. You, you know, Frankie, they say if you truly love something, you should set it free. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm saying you should kill her to shut her the fuck up. That's what, that's, that's what I'm saying. I love you. 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 I could hold a gun to Frankie's head and demand you to make him stop. Otherwise, I paint the surrounding foliage pink with Pianta brain. Or, I guess pink and red because of all the blood too, right? I love you. 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 I'm going to pull out my Glock! I swear to fucking God if you don't stop! And then the screen just fades to black, and when it comes back, Mario's just wiping blood from his overalls, and he's standing over their lifeless corpses. <sighs> there. I said it. Oh, Frankie, baby, you're such a silly Billy. Hee hee hee. Ah, yes, I know that dead silence all too well. That silence is the contemplation of murder. Now, my little cream puff, let's find that ring anyway. What do you say? Well, you think these guys are gonna be alright looking for that thing on their own? Listen, Mario, we better play it safe and help them, don't you think? Yeah, I fucking guess so. Now Mario's gonna have to come up with an excuse for the police, like, time frame, like, where were you at the time this happened? Mario's like, I don't even fucking know these people, I've never seen them before in my life. And then they realize they're Piantas, they go talk to the Mafia. And then they're like, oh yeah, we know the Mario guy, and then like his alibi gets like completely rocked by the police, and Mario's like, shit! And Mario has to like go into hiding. You're gonna get slapped if you call any girl your bacon burger? Yeah. I think so. Especially nowadays, because women get offended over everything. Women would rather be called like a 20 name long name than an actual nickname just to shorten shit out. Alright, now that we have the wedding ring, we can go back and get these two to shut the fuck up and come back with me. Hopefully. Ah, oh, that's it! That's my ring! You found it! Yeah, it was actually uh, pretty easy to find, seeing as how it's a giant blue glittering stone. Frankie, now we can come home to daddy. We sure can, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go. Well, so anyway, we'll be down at the dock. Hurry back, please. I like the noises they make when they walk away. It sounds like a whole bunch of squishy footsteps. Really weird. Like, if you were to have, like, a pair of soggy slippers, and you were to try and walk in them, that's what it would sound like, a little bit. I wonder how they made that noise. Like, the sound effect, I mean. Okay, Mario, I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to Rogueport. Ooh, Daddy, please hang on until we get there. Could you, uh, please quit saying the word Daddy? It's, it's putting me off. I thought that was Cortez. I was like, what the fuck? Return the rogue port, amigo. Bueno, we are off. Cast off me, amigos, to rogue port. I can't roll my R's. I'd be a lot more offensive if I could, but trust me, I'm working on it. It's a skill that I want to perfect. I want to learn how to roll my R's, like, incredibly well. Can we just skip this? Yeah, we can. Well, I get to save your guys' time and mine. How convenient is that? You're welcome, by the way. It's not a way any boat should be able to move. Yeah, especially because it doesn't have any force like driving it. The sails are ripped, too, so it can't even catch wind. That doesn't make any sense. You have to go see Daddy immediately. You got it, Francesca. Holy shit, they are fast for a couple of thick bitches. God damn, they can move. Jesus, I'm riding my fucking Yoshi and I can't even keep up.
right. So, all we have to do is go back up and talk to the boss man. We should be able to get our train tickets. Actually, you know what? I want to have Vivian around. No, what the fuck? It's not the button I pressed. Alright, though. That'd be a great way to steal shit, though, wouldn't it? You just nick a bunch of shit, and then you disappear into the floor, and they're like, Where the fuck? And then you just come back out when the store fucking opens again, and then you, like, destroy the camera footage. Daddy! 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 Wake up! Open your eyes! Boss. Oh god, what the fuck's going on over here? Francesca? Daddy! Boss. Oh my little Francesca, you came back for me. And you too, Frankie. Of course we did, Daddy! As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. You are so full of shit right now, you did not rush back and drop everything. You were insisting that I find your wedding ring and it was more important than your ill dying father. Don't give me that shit. Francesca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man. Forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but I want the two of you to stay here with me. I can't bear to be away from you two crazy kids. I'm an old man now, and I need peace. I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks like even Don Pianta, the dawn of untimely death, can't escape the old age. The time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. No, it's time. I mean it. And I want you to be my successor, Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you are the new head of the Pianta Syndicate. What? B but boss you still got it in you? You're spring chicken, you don't gotta do this. And I mean, me, boss? No, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking that for a long time now. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a feeling about you. A good one. I want you to take care of Francesca and the rest of the syndicate. The way I did. Boss! You, Mario. Looks like you've done yet another favor for me, kid. Yeah. Uh, about that, boss. Oh, this is gonna be just beautiful, I know it. What'd you guys do? Well, uh, we kinda promised him something, boss. We told him we'd get him a ticket for the Excess Express if you brought your daughter. <laughs> oh, is that all? You had me worried for a second. Come on over here, Mario. How many you want? One, two, ten? Help yourself. You come back anytime you like, how about that? Well, now that I've retired, I'm gonna get out of here. Daddy! Boss! You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that? You, the boss. You do good now, Frankie. Frankie, we've got lots of work to do. And don't worry, I'll keep you in line. Sweet Bean, come on. Knock it off with the pet name nonsense, will you? Call me Francesca. Huh? F -f 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 Francesca? Yes, or Miss Boss. <laughs> On the boss. Uh, 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 I mean boss. You got our loyalty. We'll be by your side whenever you need us, boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. You're welcome here anytime. You're like a brother to me. You ain't bad, kiddo. Yeah, you ever think about joining up with the Syndicate? It's the life, kid. Yeah, I, be I bet it is until you get fucking shot in the fucking eye. Have fun with it. Vivian, let's get the fuck out of here and never look back, please. Oh nice, now we can go to Poshley Heights, right? We better hurry up and find that sixth crystal star. 
<laughs> I heard that, my uglies. So, the sixth crystal star is in Partially Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. Eek! Beldum! Normally, this would be where I finally deal with you and that homely trait of Vivian. But something tells me trying that alone might be unwise. So you live. For now. Instead, I'll just beat you to Partially Heights and get that crystal star before you do! <laughs> oh, Mario, she's serious. We need to go to Poshley Heights before her. We have to go to Rogueport Station. Now. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. Jesus, get off my back, would you? Oh, fucking hell. I forgot we have to take a train to get to Poshley Heights. I fucking hate trains. I fucking hate trains. They suck. Mario Boo, it's just a train. Did something happen when you were little? Was one of your parents hit by a train or some shit? <sighs> Vivian, you're cool, so I do not mind telling you this. I have a phobia of trains. It's called Sidiodromophobia and it's very serious. Sidio, what a what? Sidiodromophobia. Have you ever seen the movie Train to Busan? There's a fucking zombie outbreak on the goddamn train! A train! It's fucking horrifying! Scariest shit I've ever seen in my fucking life! 